Prove your wherever is yours. Destroy the enemies that stand your way, and the door shall open. It appears some people have failed to do so. So these are some new enemies. They fight similarly to the regular sentries, the basic undead you fought for, but they are much worse and much more annoying. It's you might as well get your try and get your countering down. It helps out a lot. You can grab them until the circle prompt does, and then you can use them as a battering ram. Or you can throw them or just break them in half. And then some dogs will spawn after that statue's eye. I guess, turn off. Yeah, countering is very useful against these guys. They fight similarly, but they are far worse than Rick the Sentries. And in this video, I finally upgrade my blades to level 3. And your armor spar is, as usual, pretty useful. I do not recommend your rage spar. You can deal without it, and it'll come much more useful. In a bit. And if you notice, some of the eyes of the soldiers' of the statues have actually turned off. The shields resemble the army of Sparta shields. And those guys also like to block some of your attacks. But countering them isn't too hard, and as I've said, really makes it easier. Sometimes they glitch and they will still move while having a circle prompt. Which is really good, which really helps. That happened to me a few times. And the doors are open. Oh, and interesting enough, actually, parts of their armor fall off. Yes! Finally. And my army of Sparta is also leveled up. Great. Yeah, this place has seen quite a change since the demo. Like Olympia and Gaia are some of the few changes. As well as no Cestus. But this part right here actually is largely the same, except for one um, red orb chest. And harpy riding mechanics are basically the same. Harpy riding is pretty cool in my opinion. To its credit, it's also not overly done. With only a few sequences. And some of them are actually pretty interesting. Oh, and when the harpy, and you have to like, jump off the harpy, this the game will start going into slow motion, so you all know. What's that? Ah, it's Perseus. Against his rival, Helios. The glory of Helios is coming to an end! Well, the Titans betrayed us. The guys are our true enemy, so they say the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So I guess we might as well help Perseus. And I always prefer to just use my ball of Apollo on these guys.
And the, the Olympus sentries actually have a few interesting attacks. That's gonna be revealed in a second. No, a second, like, in a bit. And Helios will actually randomly throw bot fire at you because he's an asshole. Well, Perseus struggles. Might as well avoid that. God, I love the pattern ram. And you don't want to stand too close when this cinematic plays. You can get screwed, you can actually die as soon as it ends. And their new attack is that they cause like little waves to appear. The Centaur fights no differently from the very first one you fought in Olympus. Yeah, spam out your armor Sparta here, and then use your Blade of Olympus to finish him off. Since my armor Sparta is level 2, it's even better. And I bet everyone would have helped if it wasn't for that goddamn wall thing. If you can't finish him off the blade almost like I couldn't, use your magic. You actually can counter their little shockwave things. Uh, you definitely can. And the animation remains the same, but it still is awesome as ever to watch. You can get a trophy for actually killing all three centers in a game like this. But it's glitchy in a way, you have to kill- you can, Like, I didn't get it my first time through, I don't know why. I'm pretty sure I killed it, like, via the quick time kill. And the trophy actually states that you have to kill only three of them. Yeah, I've killed more than three of them, and I still hadn't gotten until later today. When I killed the last one in a different playthrough. Once the center is gone, everything becomes much easier. Well, somewhat. Oh. If you go back down, like, after these guys are on, actually more of them will appear, which I went to kill and then cut out. It's worthwhile for the experience, just so you all know. You're gonna feel the wrath of Kratos soon. What's that? Oh god, no. It's a freaking chimera. Which are actually quite, quite rare in this game. They're incredibly annoying, and you can block pretty much all of their attacks. But their most annoying attack is their poison, is their poison breath thing. You can't block that. It's hard to tell when it appears. Your best bet is to try is to use your square attacks and then and then use your Empress Triangle for Puma Prometheus. That. And in this phase, he, the Chimera starts to use free fire. Your best bet is, again, is to use your Puma Premium combos, your triangle triangle combo, and your square attacks. When you stream fire, use your bolt follow. If you have magic, then you should use that. Uh, And now comes what might well be the most annoying phase. He it breathes fire and it rams you. It can be a bit unpredictable, at least for me. But it fights for the most part similar to the first phase. And because of how fast it is, your rage of Sparta is actually quite all but useless. I like it 
I ended up wasting it my first time. Some people recommend it, but I guess that's because they're they've been able to get it right. I can't. This fucking guy already. Yeah, I know I've been having a hard time. I really hate time errors. I think they are one of the, some of the coolest enemies in the game in the franchise. But they're just so freaking annoying. And you deserve that. 